I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Are you ready to call forth your daily bread today? Jesus said we should pray that every day. I said, hello, Jesus, this is your prayer every day. Hey, Jesus said we should ask, give us this day, not this week, not this year, not this month. Give us this day our daily bread so if god should answer you for that day what about tomorrow now what does that tell you it's a prayer you pray every day you know how we take simple things for granted i remember talking to an educationalist one time and then he he brought out a point to me that i never thought about he said now can you remember when you went to school primary school there's a song we all used to sing and you know the song it goes like this into my heart into my heart come into my heart lord jesus you know you know that song and then he said to me he said do you know consciously by that song you know the school authorities were getting everyone to confess jesus as lord and invite him to their hearts and then he said those songs are not being sung anymore in schools so what's going on now so you see rise in cultism you see rise because because then unconsciously we ask jesus to come into our now in the midst of you know all that happenings in the midst of you know everyone in that school there are some that jesus responds to and quells at their heart whether they have perfect understanding of the scriptures or not i said whoa you know we, we used to sing that every day i don't know about you but but i remember that song praise god so when jesus said you know you know you look at homes for example you know morning devotion and then they always pray the lord's prayer they prayed every day. But sometimes you don't even understand what you're doing. See, you don't understand. So you, you, you pray the prayer, but yet you take things for granted. You don't, you don't look out for the response from God that you have prayed to. But that shall not be your case again, praise God. So can we call for that daily prayer? Say, Father, give me today my daily bread. I receive it right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now you've got to pray that prayer with understanding. Hallelujah. Now, last week we began to talk about walking in spiritual, financial intelligence. And thank you for all the um, responses we got. Thank you for the testimonies that we got. You know, some of you keep sending those messages and telling us how those broadcast is really really being a blessing to you it it encourages us of course it's encouraging uh, encourages us to know that what we are doing here is touching lives across praise god so thank you and keep those testimonies coming in they are our fuel of course we obey god we're doing this thing is concerned but when we get your testimonies when we get your responses we know that yes it's a confirmation that what god said to us to do is true so don't just sit down there oh i'm blessed i'm blessed but you never send a message across please do and then when you do that we add it to our prayer list so we, we keep praying for you every day praise god all right then let's go into today's broadcast father we honor you today thank you for the ability to bring forth your truth and your word is being made manifest in our hearts and we see the result in jesus name i declare right now every body is lifted and every yoke is destroyed in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Turn your Bibles with me to Proverbs 
Oh, I, you know, this is one of my best scriptures. I mean, my best scripture, not for preaching, but for living. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Oh, I love this. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Verse 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him. Now he said, In all your ways acknowledge him. In, in all your ways, so your financial ways, what you're going to do financially, acknowledge him. What you're going to do in your health, acknowledge him. Before you take any decision, not just major decisions, major and minor decisions, any decision at all, before you take it, acknowledge him. And when you acknowledge him, he said here that, and he shall direct your path okay i want to take this decision so what do i do i acknowledge the lord so when i acknowledge the lord what happens he chooses the path that i go through to achieve that decision that i have made and let me tell you this truth when he chooses the path for you he, 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 you know, he said something. He says, for I will go before you and I will make the crooked path straight. There is no way the Lord will tell you to walk on a path and allow you to sort out that path yourself. No, he said, I will go ahead of you. And then when I go ahead of you, if there is any crooked path, I will make it straight. So what does that mean? You are not supposed to walk on crooked paths. Now, that's why you have to wait for him to direct your path. See? Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, last week, I, I stopped at telling you about offerings, you know, and then how the Lord taught me. Like I said, I'm going to be sharing my own personal understanding, not just understanding, my personal experience with the Lord where walking in financial intelligence is concerned i'm going to be sharing my my story this so now these are real life situations real life stories real things i walked in with the lord real things he's done in our lives as a family as a ministry well, i'm going to be sharing all those things and and from those things i'm pulling out truth now you see that he you see the the point is this and remember I told you last week, I said, listen, your one step to walking in supernatural or spiritual financial intelligence is that you know the voice of God. That is, if, if that is missing in your life, forget it. You're going to be doing guesswork. You've got to get to that place where you know that God speaks to you. You know it, that you hear the voice of God. You've got to get there. And you can. You see, most times we think it's difficult to get God to speak to us. But I'll tell you what. No, God has been speaking to you. That's the funny thing you will realize eventually. God has been speaking to you. It's you that have not been hearing him. No, it's you that have not been recognizing that voice, that it is the Lord. As for hearing, you hear him because no one would want to speak to you without thinking in his heart how you will hear him. If I'm going to talk to you, for example, now imagine if I come before this camera now and then I don't connect the microphone to it. So all you see me doing, and you'll be wondering what he's saying. You are seeing me quite all right. You see, but then because we want you to hear what I'm saying, we connect a microphone to the camera in such a way that there will, there will be no, um, so much echo in, 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 in the sound. Why? Because the intent, the reason for us speaking is that you over there will hear. So why then would God speak to you without being concerned about you hearing him? See, 
So say, ah, maybe God is speaking just that I'm not hearing him. No, sir. You hear him. Your challenge is you have not acknowledged that this is the voice of God. And you've not acknowledged him because you didn't know. Sometimes you even say, my mind told me this. My, you know, you know, my mind, this one, my mind, my spirit, or it came to me, or I, I just knew that that's what, hey, how did he just know? You see, that's the challenge. You have not acknowledged the voice of God. You have not acknowledged him as the speaker. Now, add that to your life and, and see where that takes you to. Be bold to say, instead of saying, my mind told me. Now, what, what, but what if it's my mind? I'll tell you the difference. Your mind can only speak of what it knows. Your mind cannot tell you what it doesn't know. But when you begin to hear things that add knowledge to you, increase your wisdom, then you know that's not your mind. You know that is the voice of God coming to you. Or of, of course, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not saying anything you hear. You know, you say, okay, I heard that sugar and steal that money. So that's God. No, you see, God will not contradict himself. He's not going to tell you to do something that is wrong. He won't tell you to do that. Praise God. So, now he says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And I showed you last week how he, he directed my path in giving of offerings. And that's the moment, that's the season that I know as far as I can remember being broke completely. Now, when I mean being broke completely, I'm talking about you getting to that point where you are so broke, you don't even know how to think about or what to think about. You know, you, you, you don't know where, what to do. Yeah, so that's the point. You don't have money. You can buy what you want to buy and you don't know what to do. So you're just paralyzed. That's, that's what it means to be broke. Is it because sometimes you may not have money, but you just know, you know what? Let me just get to the bank, I'll get some money. Or let me get to the house, I'll get some money. See, that's the temporary being without money. But but I'm talking about you getting to that point where home and abroad, you are bankrupt. God doesn't want you in that situation at all. Praise God. So so He taught me, because that, that used to be the way I that was to be my life. I told you last week I had to run leave where God told me to stay. I left because because I didn't understand why things were not working. But when the Lord taught me concerning giving of offerings and why I should give offerings, not why I should give, why I give offerings, and then he specifically commanded me on this. Every time you're giving your offering, call it the seed to meet your need for that week. And I, because that was very much to me. Now, I began to practice that. And sincerely, I began to enjoy miracles and miracles and miracles and miracles in my life. Now, before this period, many years before this, I'll tell you an experience I had. I've been hearing God's word concerning all these financial dealings and how God wants to bless us, how God wants to prosper us. And I came to a conclusion one time in my life, like, if this thing is true, why don't you prove it? Yeah, I told myself, why don't you prove it? Now, I was a student then back in school, you know, and I began to make up my mind that I don't want to just live in assumption where the word of God is concerned. I want to make sure this thing is truly dependable. I mean, I want to be sure I can bank my life on this thing. And then I began to put structures in place because I began to look at the scriptures again and then asking myself, hey, how do I function in this? And then that brought me into a decision I made many years ago when I was still in school. I will tell you about that decision tomorrow and we'll take it off from there because my time is up today. Praise God. Listen, your life is about to change in dimensions that you never 
knew was going to happen. Why? Because God loves you and he is giving you his word. Praise God. Have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.